Hey there guys, OGM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Kirby 64. Last time guys, we completed everything in the Aqua Star. So, how about we start our, our new star, the Neo Star, and let's just get down into it. Oh man. So much recording today guys, so much uploading, recording, everything, and I have to admit, it feels really good. I don't think I've honestly like had a solid feeling for like my recordings until I just had that massive four recording session. I mean, the Banjo Kazooie was discouraging because of all the failed recordings for it because of the whole entire audio equipment. But now that I have the new audio equipment, I feel fantastic for this. I am ready for new adventures, new let's plays, continuing this, continuing Banjo Kazooie, the Minecraft battle with. Bitch tits you guys seem to enjoy. I, I'm just looking forward to it all, guys. That's all I can honestly say. So, uh... Yeah, I also found out with this new audio equipment, not only can I get the sound quality to be the exactly the same as my previous one, but also I can now play two audio output outputs. One directly from my microphone, which is, like, how I can hear the game and stuff, but also one directly from my TV. Now, I know that might not seem like a big deal, but if you noticed, in my whole entire last Banjo kazooie episode, when I was doing the whole entire victory double ballad thing, when I was just jumping as the termite, if you guys noticed, I kept jumping even after the music, like, ended. And, uh, yeah, I was using the new equipment then, but I hadn't got to play around with it yet, because, again, I was just trying to get some content out for you guys for it. But now that I've really played around with it, I found out that I can do this double sound thing. So that should not be a problem anymore. And yeah, that's really all I can say about what's really going on with me. So yeah, what about you guys? What's going on in your life? Anything? You guys doing good? Any neat, any neat stories? Vacations? No? Well, that, that kind of sucks, guys. I mean, come on. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That'd be really weird if I tried to have a conversation with uh, no one. Anyway, though, uh, let's just keep climbing these vines and killing these pterodactyls. Yes, I did just say pterodactyl. I've always said it, so if you guys hate me now, fine. Get out of my life. I'm kidding. If you guys left, I would have no one to, no one to speak to, and I'd be very sad. So, please, don't leave. Please, you guys are my real friends, right? Please, just more cricket sounds. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. So as you guys can see, this whole entire level is a gigantic jungle. Again, Mario reference. I think so. But whatever. This game is fantastic, and that's really all I can say. And as you guys can see, off screen, I also went back and I picked up the whole entire Ninja Star power up because, again, it's probably the most useful power up for some of these really like spacious worlds. I mean, yeah, these worlds aren't exactly like spacious; they're more linear than anything. But you guys can see what I mean. There are enemies that fall and whatnot. But yeah, so let's get hit by that spider just because. Kill this pterodactyl. Jump on this log. And now you guys want to start looking up towards the bushes with the spiders. The reason being, from this log that I'm on right now, comes the second moving log. And then there it is. Do you guys see it? That makes our third crystal for this level. And now the only thing we have to do is just get out of here. And you guys are going to love the next level because, believe it or not, it's considered probably the most hardest level to get all the crystals for. And the reason being, it's not for the crystal's locations. It's for one crystal in particular. You guys will see why. And all I can say is prepare to laugh and enjoy the rage that will probably end up happening from me. But I'm definitely going to want this max tomato for this next level. <sighs> okay, we have full health. 
Only thing left now is to go back to the pop star. I know. I always come here for all my power-up needs. But I mean, why not? Again, like I said last episode, if you got it, why not use it? And as you guys can see, the pop star is probably the most easiest area to access all your power-ups. Just blow up that little cutter guy. And I'm sure you guys already know what's going to happen. Already know. <sighs> now, to make matters even worse, the crystal that we need this power-up for isn't the first one. Isn't the last, or isn't the second one. It's the last one. So, right there's our very first crystal. Kind of an awkward crystal to get. But, as long as you guys... Uh, as long as you guys just fly, as you saw, that's what I meant to say, you'll be fine. But here we go, with our little Waddle Dee friend. And we're just gonna ride away here. Once again, just like the whole entire, uh, like, cart. Not cart, uh, crate. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. Just like the crate down the river, we just gotta jump when all the little uh, exclamation points appear. And that's really all I can say about this. Just keep going down, jump. And now for this part, do not do anything. Just let it ride out. You'll land on every platform, and you'll be completely fine. It's always that one, though, that screws me up. Always that one. It's because I'm so used to just going down without jumping. And it just screws me over. And yeah, that's that section. A little bit harder because of the crystal placement. But, if you just do a little, like, tap for the A button, then you'll be fine. Alright, dodge all the, like, eyeball thwomps. Okay, almost used my power up there, I will admit it. And I just got hit by a crab. Dodge them, wait for their heads. Please tell me there's some food up here. There's not. Of course not. Why would there be any food to help me? Run, 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 run. Good here please please thank you thank you let him fall again little froggy guys they almost ate my face I need food still okay there's a one up there and I kind of want it there we go little crabby guy so I have to say so far guys this commentary, or not com- wow, I'm so used to talking about the commentary and how it's all these crap, but no, this uh, this gameplay so far isn't all that bad in my practice file, because I have a practice file and I have my real file, but uh, for my practice file that I was playing for you guys, in the practice run, I died so many times in this level. And so far, I've only gotten hit three times. Now that I've said that, though, I've probably just screwed myself over. Let's all be honest here. And the next part of the level is the hardest part altogether. Just dodge all these little, like, water droplet guys and the cannons in here. And here we go. This part of the level is what makes this... Aw, oh, crap. This part of the level is what makes this level the hardest part. And going in here with just two units of health is not good. Fortunately, though, they have these, like, little sea pool areas. And thankfully, we cannot drown. Because if we could, I would be screwed. But you're going to want to use these pools to your advantage. Just dodge all the wreath-throwing penguins. And dodge the lightning bolt guys. And get hit by a crab. Because, I mean, it's not like I want to beat this or anything. Cake. Thank you. Okay, almost got hit by the jellyfish ghost. Eat that popsicle, whoa. Down here, that was a star, that was not food, I was hoping it was food. I need to fly over this guy, okay. Come on, thank you. Food, there's a jellyfish guy there again. The reason I'm calling those guys jellyfish is if you guys are wondering, yes, they're always gonna be spooky ghosties to me, but the reason I call them jellyfish crap is just, oh, thank the Lord was just the fact that, like, when they extend their little tentacles, they just look like jellyfish. Please, 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 please. OK, 
Okay. Now, please. No, no, no. That was way too close. Wreath, please go away. That's it. Okay. We got all three crystals. We got rid of that power up. Holy crap. Let's suck up this spooky ghosty jellyfish. Shoot him at his friend. Dodge the wreath throwing penguin. Suck him up. Oh. Oh crap, I forgot about that. Yep. Yep. I seriously thought that was the end of the level. You got me there, game. You got me there. Alright. But as you guys can see, there's just these little water droplet guys. Just eat them and then send them back at them. Easy way to win. And if you guys are wondering, believe it or not, there's one water droplet for each unit of health for the enemy. I don't think that you guys really cared about that, but it's just a little fun fact. The nice thing is, though, they were just nice enough to give you a max tomato after all like your little troubles that you went through with the crystal. They're like, oh, oh, that was probably kind of hard, so here you go. Well, thanks, game. Little late, but thanks. And then you see you get some cake and popsicle in case you get shot by the rat's bones and by the anemone's little egg seeds. Oh, crap. Well, I'm not going to rage. I am not going to rage. I got the crystal. I'm happy. I'm fine. <laughs> Just dodge all these things. Down here. Kill the little rat guy. Okay, grab some more cake. Because why not? Kill the next rat guy. Oh, crap. Okay. Really? Really? Thank you. And this has to be it. This is it, right? We did it, guys. We did it. Let's grab this max tomato. I didn't even need it. Whatever. I don't care. We did it. Oh. <sighs> I feel really good about that. All right, guys. I know this is a shorter episode, but I just got that TNT done. And in all honesty, in my practice file, because I died so much, I didn't even get to play this level yet. So, guys, sorry for the shorter episode, but, you know, things happen. So, guys, if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, OGM, signing out.